Hey friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet the country cottage cowl. This is one of my many country cottage patterns I have, so if you like this pattern, be sure to check out the other patterns. I'll leave a link to the country cottage collection playlist down below if you want to try them out. It's hard to get a full view under my camera here, so I'm going to pop up some photos. This cowl features beautiful texture, and I'll be giving you two size options, child and adult, but you can easily adjust the pattern to be any size. If you want to follow along with the free written pattern for the Country Cottage Cowl, you can find it on my website, theturtletrunk.com, or if you want the ad-free printable PDF, you can get it from my Etsy shop or on Ravelry. I'll leave links to all those down below. If you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and size chart, and let's get making. For this pattern, you will need medium four weight yarn. I'll be using Big Twist Value in the color of mustard. You'll also need a six millimeter or J hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. Here is our size chart. So I've provided two sizes. The kid size is about 25 inches in circumference and has a width of about eight inches. You'll need to make your foundation chain 62 if you wanna follow along with the kid size and you'll need about 229 yards. If you wanna make the adult size, it's about 28 inches in circumference and has a width of about 10 inches and you'll need to make a foundation chain of 74 and you'll need about 265 yards of yarn. You can adjust the circumference to be any length by working any even number of chains around for your foundation chain. And if you want to adjust the width, you'll just need to repeat rounds three and four as many times as you'd like until you reach your desired width. So we're going to begin by making our foundation chain. So you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. And then if you're working the kid size, you'll want to work a foundation chain of 62. Or if you're making the adult size, you'll want to make a foundation chain of 74. Or if you're doing a custom size, just make sure you're working an even number of chains. So I'm going to be making the adult size today. So I'm going to chain 74. I'm going to also show you a cool trick um, so that you don't twist your chain because after we're done working our foundation chain, we are going to attach the ends together to make a loop and you really want to make sure you don't twist your chain. So I just chained about 10. I'm going to remove my hook and insert it at the top of the very first chain I worked and then insert my hook back into that last chain I worked and then I'm just going to continue working my chain like this. And then when I'm all done my chain, I'm just gonna be able to slip stitch to the very first chain on my hook without twisting my chain. So this is just a cool trick if you have a hard time um, joining a chain without twisting it. So just work a couple chains, remove your hook, put it into the very first chain that you worked, and then just continue making your chain, keeping that first one on the back of your hook like so. When you're all done your chain, we're just going to pull through the first chain on our hook like so. And now we won't have a twisted chain. And now we are going to be working in the round. So now that our chain is joined, we're gonna continue working in the round for our cowl. So for round one, we're going to chain two and we're gonna be working in the back bump of our chain. So when you look at the front of a chain, you can see it makes like a V shape. So there's a top loop and a bottom loop, but we're going to be working in the back loop. So if you kind of turn your chain, you'll see this strand of yarn bump out on the back. So we want to work in the back bump of our chain for round one. So there you can kind of see it when you turn your chain. So we're going to be working in that back bump and that's just going to give our edge of our cowl a really nice finish. So I have a chain two on my hook, so now I'm going to double crochet in the back bump of each chain around for round one. So to double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that back bump, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So when you reach the end, your stitch count should be the same number that you chained. 
And we're going to join to the top of the first double crochet of the round with a slip stitch and chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. So for round two, this is where we're going to start the texture for our country cottage cowl. So we're going to work a double crochet into the first stitch. So the same stitch that we joined to. And then we're going to work a front post double crochet into the next stitch. So we're working a double crochet around the post of the stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook beside the post of the stitch, going around the back and back to the front. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So there we have a front post double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then front post double crochet into the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat those two stitches all the way around. So double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch. Your last stitch of the round will be a front post double crochet and your stitch count should still be the same. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet of the round and chain two. Now on to round three, we're going to work the same two stitches, but we're going to work them in opposite order. So our first stitch is going to be a front post double crochet, and then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to work front post double crochets around the double crochets from the previous round, and then work our double crochets on top of the front post double crochets from the previous round. So stitch one is going to be a front post double crochet, and then double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just going to repeat those two stitches all the way around. So front post double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch all the way around for round three. Your last stitch of round three will be a double crochet, and then we're going to join to the top of the first front post double crochet of the round with a slip stitch and chain two. Now we're on to round four, and for round four, we're going to do the same thing we did for round two. So we're going to double crochet into the first stitch, and then front post double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just going to repeat rounds three and four as many times until our desired width is reached. So for the kid size, you can work a total of 16 rounds. And then for the adult size, we're going to work a total of 20 rounds. So I'm just going to continue on repeating rounds three and four until I reach the end of round 20. But feel free to work as many rounds as you want. Just keep repeating rounds three and four until you reach your desired width. I'm just coming up to the end of round 20. At the end of the round, I'm going to join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch. So this is what our cowl is looking like so far. So for the adult size, I worked 20 rounds. Sorry, I can't fit it all under my camera, but I think you get the point. So now if you'd like, you can leave this as is, just tie off your yarn and weave in your ends, but I'm gonna add a border around the top and the bottom of mine, just to give it a more polished look around the edges. So you can do that as well, or you can just leave it as is, or you can add a different type of border if you'd like. But I'm just gonna add a couple rounds of a slip stitch border, just to give it a little bit more of a polished look. So if you wanna do that too, all you're gonna do is chain one, and then we're going to loosely slip stitch into each stitch around. So starting into that same stitch that we joined to, we're gonna slip stitch. And you wanna make sure that you're keeping those slip stitches loose because we're gonna work back into them again. And also if you work them too tight, it's gonna cinch up the top of our cowl, which we don't want. So we're just going to loosely slip stitch in each stitch around.
I'm just coming up to the end of the round. Now I'm going to join to the first slip stitch we worked of the round, but for the next round, we're gonna be working in the back loop only. So I'm going to join to the back loop only of that first slip stitch of the round, and then chain one. And now we're gonna be working slip stitches in the back loop only in each stitch around. So loosely slip stitch in the back loop only in each stitch around. This is gonna create a nice ridge around the top of our cowl. I'm just coming up to the end of the round. So at the end of the round, I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of the first stitch of the round. And I'm going to end here. Feel free to add more rounds of working a slip stitch in the back loop only if you wanna make a thicker border around it. But I'm gonna stop here. So I'm gonna cut off my yarn and then pull out my hook. And then I'm going to reattach my yarn to the bottom of my cowl and work the same border around the bottom. So I'm gonna weave in all of my ends at the end, so I'm just gonna continue on to the bottom border. So you can attach your yarn anywhere around the bottom. I'm just gonna do it as closely to the join as possible. So attach your yarn to the bottom of your cowl. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the same stitch. And just like we did for the first round of the border on the top, we're just gonna loosely slip stitch in each stitch around. So you wanna make sure that you end up with the same amount of stitches that your size called for. So since I'm doing the adult size, I wanna make sure that I have 74 slip stitch all the way around the bottom. If you're doing the child size, you wanna make sure you have 62. Or if you did a custom size, then just make sure you have the same amount of stitches all the way around. So just loosely slip stitch in each stitch around the bottom. When you reach the end of the round, we are going to join in the back loop only into that first slip stitch of the round. Chain one. And now for the next round, we are going to loosely slip stitch in the back loop only in each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, we're gonna to join to the top of the first slip stitch. And then we are all done. So I'm gonna cut off my yarn and then weave in all of my ends on the inside. And here is our finished Country Cottage Cowl. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my other Country Cottage patterns like the Country Cottage Mittens or the Country Cottage Beanie so you can make a matching set. If you wanna show off photos of your finished creations, be sure to tag me at The Turtle Trunk on Facebook and Instagram so I can see them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.